close the Thomas Aquinas College graduation. Chuck Kerman, Charles. Kerman at VCStar.com, 805-437-8295 It's been an eventful time to be a student at Thomas Aquinas College, senior Suzanne Urbancic told members of the class of 2018 during their graduation ceremony Saturday. Not because of the Thomas fire in December that forced the evacuation of students and faculty members from the campus near Santa Paula, and the subsequent heavy rains. Those were certainly memorable experiences, our band said. But other events have made their past four years as students at the college particularly historic, she continued. More news on Thomas Aquinas College. First, they witnessed the completion of a new lecture and concert building on the campus, Street. Cecilia Hall, they also attended at a time when the conservative Catholic college was involved in and ultimately prevailed in a legal battle against an Affordable Care Act mandate that required employers to provide health insurance covering contraceptives, she said. And their time at the college coincided with its acquisition of a second campus in Northfield, Massachusetts, Arbansic noted, we should see this eventful period during which we have been students here as an opportunity to rekindle in ourselves the passion and vision of our founding mission, a mission which, as alumni, it is our duty and our privilege to keep alive, she said. College is a training ground, and the knowledge and habits instilled here are meant to be preserved and promulgated as we go forth, autoplay show thumbnails show captions last slide next slide that knowledge and mission must include standing up for the Principles of Catholic doctrine, including foregoing birth control, recognizing marriage as a lifetime commitment between a man and a woman, and seeing the purpose of sex as procreation, not pleasure, said commencement speaker the Rev. Robert Morlino, Bishop of Madison, Wisconsin. During his half-hour commencement address, he railed against what he sees as chaos, a scourge of political correctness on today's college campuses and a moral unraveling of society as whole. Part of your mission is to make the voice of reason heard in our culture, Morlino told the gathering of students, faculty members and families. must shine the light of reason on the darkness of our world, and that often means you have to be politically incorrect. 86 Thomas Aquinas College students marked the completion of their four-year Bachelor of Arts degree Saturday. After the ceremony, the students hugged family members and friends as they celebrated and reminisced about their time on campus. It's a great feeling to be done. We've all put in a lot of work to be here, and it's a big accomplishment. It's a great day, said senior Nicholas Newton, of Michigan. It's been amazing to see the growth in myself and all my classmates, as people and intellectually, Daniel Zepp, of Wisconsin, described his time at Street. Thomas Aquinas as, fascinating. He said he entered the college expecting to build upon knowledge he already had. Instead, as he delved into the original works of great thinkers such as Isaac Newton, Aristotle and Albert Einstein, he realized there was much more to learn. His pursuit of knowledge will continue after he leaves St. Thomas Aquinas, Zip said. His next goal is to obtain a doctorate in neuroscience. Meanwhile, senior Maura Collins, of Upper Ohio, said she plans to become a special education teacher, and already has a summer job lined up in Santa Barbara. She said Thomas Aquinas College nurtured her both intellectually and spiritually, I'll just always remember the community here and how we were all here for each other, she said. I'll just always cherish the memories of coming here. Read or share this story. https colon slash slash www.vcstar.com slash story slash news slash education slash graduation slash 2018 slash 05 slash 12 slash voice dash reason slash 5866370002 slash